Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a new multi-voice text-to-speech system trained with an emphasis on quality. This system is called as Tortoise and we are going to install it on our local system and then we will also see how it generates that voice from text. This tool is quite interesting because it focuses not only on the quality but also on two aspects of TTS. One is prosody and the next one is intonation as you can see on your screen. When we see prosody, prosody means the rhythm, stress and melody of speech encompassing things like pitch, volume, rate and pause to convey meaning and emotion. Whereas Intonation is a subset of prosody specifically focusing on the rise and fall of pitch with its melody to convey attitudes, emotions and grammatical relationships such as questioning or statement. Also, you can very easily install it on various devices too. If you follow the instructions which are given in their report, I will drop the link to it in video's description. I will be following one of them which I think is one of the easiest one and then we will go from there. Another fun fact about this project is the name. So what this creator is doing, it is in naming its repos after the flora and fauna of Mohave Desert, which is in the rain shadow of Nevada state in US. This model tortoise is a bit tongue in cheek. This model is quite slow. It leverages both an autoregressive decoder and a diffusion decoder, both known for their low sampling rates. But if you are using good GPU, you should be okay. And yes, you would need a GPU for this, no matter how low or high it is. This is not going to work on CPU. Okay, enough talk. Let's try to see how can we get it installed locally. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. Also, if you are into these TTS models, I have done hundreds of videos on these TTS models over the course of last two years. So just go and search with TTS on the channel and you will see heaps of them and I'm more than sure you will find something according to your use case. Okay, enough talk. Let me take you to my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Let me get, uh, let me create a Conda. Uh, maybe we'll just get clone the environment first and then we will go from there. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. So you can see that we have just clone tortoise dash TTS and we have seed it into it. Now you can install it from the source, but easier way is through Docker. I already have Docker installed. So let me quickly show you my Docker version. I will highly suggest that you go with Docker. And if you don't know how to install Docker, please search my channel. I already have done a very easy to understand video around Docker installation. So before we run the Docker, we need to give the permission to its Docker socket. And that is done. And next up, we need to build a docker file and there you go so let me run it and the first time it is going to download all of this stuff and this takes a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish so you can see that it is still running it is over five minutes now so we just have to be patient while it finishes It's finished and towards the end you might get these two warnings which you can ignore. Let me clear the screen here. Next up, all we need to do is to cd to this. Uh, first, let me show you actually the content of this directory. So you will find that there is a tortoise um, and then there are some scripts. There is also some configuration file which you need to check out. But before all of that, let's run our Docker containers. And in order to run it, all you need to do is to run this command, which is going to use all the GPUs. It is also going to mount the Docker volumes. And then this is just specifying few of the directories and mapping them 
to the current volume. So that is done. And if you have Conda installed, Conda automatically takes you to its base um, environment. So I'm just going to deactivate the base one. Let me clear the screen. And now let's activate the tortoise environment. And the environment is activated. And then we have CD to the app directory here. And then all we need to do is to run this tortoise TTS with the help of this command. So I'm just using Python command to run this do underscore TTS and this results directory will contain the results and this is our text to speech and text is time flies like an arrow fruit flies like a banana so this is just from their repo so let me run it and it is going to take bit of a time so let's wait it has started downloading the model and this is the auto regressive one which i was telling you about previously and then it has downloaded that decoder and now vocoder and then it is transforming it let's wait for it and there you go so it seems it has generated an audio so let's go to that results directory and check it out so in the results directory, you will see these three files, which it showed you that it generated for system real and user. And if you remember, because we create, mapped this Docker volume results to our local directory and the local directory was this MNT user data dot SDTS result. And there are our three files here. So let me first play the first one. Time flies like an arrow, fruit flies like a banana. Nice. What is this? Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Let's play the last one. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Good stuff. Okay, in the next example, let's try to generate another um, audio from this text where I'm asking it. Please subscribe to this channel where you are watching this video and share it among your network. And then I'm begging you please so let's see what happens here of course this time it is not going to download all the models again it is just going to generate the audio so i will just let it run to show you how long does it take it doesn't take too long so let's wait it is going to just prepare it in the auto regressive and then diffusion model i guess So you see it is now generating those autoregressive samples. And then it is just transforming those output. And there you go. So it's quite fast, just around this many uh, milliseconds here, which is good. Let's go and play it out. Please subscribe to this channel where you are watching this video and share it among your network, Blazes. Places. Okay, so I couldn't really. Please subscribe to this channel where you are watching this video and share it among your network. Please. Cool, cool. Another cool thing which you can do with this tortoise TTS is to put your long text in a file and then ask it to read it. And you can add emotions, prosody, intonations in it. And let me show you how. So, for example, just let's create a new file called as mytext.txt enter into it and then maybe i'll just paste this text here now this is a beauty of tortoise txt that you can add emotion within these scare brackets like we are saying she said with a sad voice and then the actual sentence so tortoise tts is not going to convert this sentence within the scare brackets which is showing emotions it is only going to say i can't stand it anymore in a sad voice and then you can go with multi voice by just uh, using it. But for this purpose, I'm just going to go with female. But if you have a multi voice, you can put he or whatever you like here. And then we are just going with come on, my love will get through this. Okay. So let me save it. And then in order to run it with tortoise TTS, you would need to use their read dot. Py script and you can run it like this so you see all we are doing it we are replacing 
this um, the previous script do tts with read.py we are giving the path to our text file and then we are using the female voice ng so let me run it meanwhile it runs let me show you where you can find the voices one way is to go to just their github repo and then search it there or from their github repo you can go to this link and you will see that there are a lot of voices here like tom weaver william freeman another cool thing is that if you want to add your own voice there is a voices directory you just upload your wave or mp3 audio file there and then you can use your own voice so let's check out this one so let me play this audio in the voice of angie i can't stand it anymore come on my love we will get through this you see it has shown the prosody intonation very very clearly another thing you might have noticed that it produces this real user and sys so and if you go to the result directory there are three files of it now this real file is uh, the real file and uh, which is our audio file which it has produced and it shows the total elapsed time or the wall clock time taken to complete the speech synthesis task from start to finish whereas when it says users it is a time spent by the cpu executing user level code which is our ai models computation and this measures the actual processing time spent generating the speech and then we have sys which is a time spent by operating system kernel managing resources handling io operations and performing other system level tasks so all of these are three time steps which are related to processing time of our speech synthesis task which measures the duration of different components and that is what it is showing in uh, real sys and user as you can see here there are a lot of other things that you can do with it um, but i will leave it to explore because it's quite a good uh, tts model which has a lot of stuff another cool thing is that it is not new it was released around april 2022 there have been a lot of improvements but really good stuff that we have such a solid project going on for such a long time i will drop the link to it in video's description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching